mkurugenzi <laughs> moment young and stupid five episode five fresh out the kitchen na kama kawa kama dawa mkiona mkurugenzi amepiga red you just know you are not ready when i not ready Mm-mm, not ready leo nimechokesha na macha ndio sema leo nikasema okay wacha niipumzishe kidogo but normal programming will resume next week <laughs> ni baridi ni baridi forgive me Wakurugenzi kwa siku nimepiga story hapa nikiambia watu mumetosha vile mko msikubali kuingizwa kwa box ya pesa ya haraka hiyo kitu haiwaga ishi vizuri na hiyo kitu si atini Kenya peke yake all over the world quick money haijawahi work forget forget Leo nataka niwapigie story ambayo ilifanyikia kijana mdogo sana katika nchi ya Amerika US of A ambayo ilivunja watu moyo vilivyo Ladies and gentlemen this is the story of Steven Smith aka Headache kijana hatari katika mpira wa kikapu Steven Smith amepata shule mzuri sana inajiita University of um, Arizona State University sorry ASU Steven Smith ameingia pale ASU anapata wako na timu fulani ya kucheza mpira wa kikapu basketball pale haiendi mahali imelala ni kikosi haiwezi kazi wako vibaya lakini bahati coach wa hiyo time ambaye alikuwa mgeni at the time alikuwa amefanya reshuffling akatoa kila mtu kabisa akaleta watu wapya Scouting yake ilikuwa one of a kind. Alienda akatafuta the best of the best. By the way, US college sports ni a multi-million dollar industry. Huko watu wanakafunga mbaya. So I think alienda kaambiwa mazewewe kazi yako hapa. We will pay you top dollar. Akikisha umetuletea people who can win championships. Hii story tunapigwa na my university ya ziko ah, ah. enda leta watu wanaweza kazi. So alienda ka assemble kikosi safi sana ya 15 players I think among them was a young chap by the name Stevin uh, uh, Smith aka Headache but si uongo akiingia pale court na nyinyi anawapatia Headache muda furaha oh the boy is fire point guard hatari yani talent iliyoje o oh boy aliingia tu hivi maze the first couple of games ilikuwa ni mauano alikuwa anapiga kupiga kuua My friends. Season ya 1994. Watu walikuwa wametii huyo kijana deadly like season ilianza hivi wakijua nyinyi watu hamna habari. Hamna habari. Headache anakuja kuwafanya mambo. Mlidhani la season ilikuwa fire. Ngojeni muone hii season ya 94. Na ukijana huyu 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 ana draftiwa NBA na mtaniambia ngojeni muone. Hakuna talent kama hii. Yeah, the boy is fire. Is fire. In fact scouts tayari walikuwa shanza kuona hii na kuna boy fulani pale Arizona State University anasumbua hebu mzee tukaeni rada na uboy uboy naona akiingia ligi ukisha draft wa NBA sasa wewe umekafunga ati wewe ni mtu unasalimiana hivi na eh, anaitwa nani eh, Dwayne Wade eh, hiyo time ni kitambo 94 nani alikuwa wewe ni mtu unasalimiana hivi na Michael Jordan hivi eh hey, Scottie Pippen ai wewe wewe umekafunga hii life deadly so ikakuwa sasawa watch the season ukijana ni hatari but wadau kuna tashwishi kuna ngori kidogo kidogo sana most of our vijana walikuwa wamechukuliwa pale vijana very talented walikuwa ni vijana wa ghetto pale sekta ya senti kidogo mambo haikuwa sawa na sheria kama ilivyo pale college inakuwaga wewe si tunakusomesha The reason why unatuchezea ni sababu tumekupatia scholarship. Unataka turudi kwa mfuko tena tukulipe. Hata wewe uski hiyo ina sound funny. Woni hiyo is is no. No we are paying your school fees so wewe che wewe cheza. Hawa watu hawana kitu. So wanakuja wanakufa hapa kwa court kweli kweli lakini chakula hata ya kukula jioni hakuna. Sababu ni watoto maskini ni vile tu wako na talent na ni machopi. So ningori but ukiimagine 
Maybe mimi by the time namaliza shule naweza kuwa nimedraftiwa kwa team hapa ka NBA unapiga tu moyo konde unasema kaende sana tuchape kitu tuzidi. Wadao the season ya 1994. Yaani shetani ndio amepiga push ups zake amemaliza anataka kuingiza be, mchezo kwa kazi sasa. Through a former no a schoolmate was Stephen Headache. <laughs> Stephen ana discover watu waga wanafanya betting na wana bet na teams za college huyu schoolmate ana introduce kwa sasa wale bookkeepers ngori yani wale atari so apparently maju siji kama hapa waga ina happen hivyo ukakoa ni gambler deadly kuna wase mnaenda mazewe ugamble kwao lakini wewe juu hauna pesa ya kuwekelea anakuwekelea pesa yake so semesti ana gambo la nakamkwangu ananiambia niaje mimi hii mechi hii mechi naona naona na outcome yake ikicheza hivi na hivi nataka ku bet 20000 dollars but sasa mimi kama sti si na wewe fanya hivi ya beli wewe niweke 20000 then mazao ikitokea na kurudishia 20000 yako of course na kitu kidogo mimi na beba the, the winnings so hivyo ndio wasao wamekuwa kidum so steven smith anakutana na college mate huyu college mate anamuintroduce kwa mjamaa mwenye hiyo ndio kazi yake yeye ni ya ya ikifika mambo ya betting yeye ni king pin amefika point yeye kelea hundreds of thousands of dollars kama bets eh pesa kwake is not a thing na si ati ni mtu mzee ni kijana pia yako 22 years ameachana na Stephen Hedek na maybe mwaka moja ama mbili so kumbuka ni vijana mzee wako on top of their game wanaingia hivi maze kwa court the whole court maze wasi wanapiga tu nduru majina zao yani uko na fe mingine deadly lakini dure kendo hakuna pesa hata shilingi uko nayo kwa mfuko una celeb na una pesa basically nikaa sisi tidy hai uko na celeb lakini kuna ganji hakuna pesa so hiyo kitu of course ilianza kuingia vijana then steven hede kana kam kuambiwa ati kuna mtu anafanya mambo ya betting mnaweza tengeneza mapesa pesa eh hey, hey, kwa nini kesho akamwambia ni aje nikutanishe na umse tufanye mambo so kidogo kidogo ule jamaa akapigiwa akambiwa ni aje niko na jamaa tuko naye shule anaitwa Steven Smith but this is Steven ni ste Steven Smith aka headek ni mudeli cheki mechi zote za eh, Arizona State University we cheki tu oh boy ana control mbaya amesema ako willing kupea na ma games eh cheza na yeye atakukontrolia so huyo jamaa anapigiwa si ni huo don wa betting akasema hii na mambo ni connect na huyo jamaa niongee na yeye tuone vile tutakache tutakacheza so waka connectiwa steven akamwambia mzee mimi nimepatiwa eh, idea vile kitu ya betting ina happen na niko willing kusaidia me as long as to si lose usiniambie tuingie court twende to lose hiyo itakuwa tricky the boy akamwambia eh hey, chief you're overthinking you're overthinking wena let me educate you kwa betting kuna kitu inaita go the bet line wacha ni kushow vile bet line waga inafanya kazi nipatie team nipatie team madi good nipatie team nyingine yenye haijiwezi team imeshindwa na mpira kabisa wanapenda kuvaa nyekundu nipatie team nipatie very nice hata siku anakumbuka kuna team kama hiyo lakini unaona ni watu wangu wa kru ni joy amesema so maniu <laughs> maniu na man city si ndio hizi mbili unajua kabisa man city itapiga maniu hata kama wote wako na ball kwa uwanja like hata kama wote wako na mimba watawapiga tu ni ngori so betline vile waga inacheza inaangaliaga favorites na underdogs favorites ni kina nani ni man city man city watapiga maniu ukweli so hii betline yetu tunaiweka at three goals kumaanisha eh, no actually football sika basketball wacha nicheze na less goals tunaweka betline yetu at two goals meaning Man U, I mean Man City wakipiga Man U na less than two goals unashinda. Uko sawa. Siji kama mnaelewa vile kitu inaenda. Wanakuja hapa kwa underdogs. Betline wanaiweka kwa minus 
Hawa se wakishindwa na less than two goals umeshinda. So even your bet lines ze ucheza. So kama niko willing to fix match na kujaga naambia one of the players bet line kwa underdogs inachezea two goals. So whatever you do tafadhali musipigwe more than bao mbili. In fact, hata sifai kuwa naongea na underdogs, nikibetia underdogs nafaa niende kwa the favorites. So nikibetia Man City, Manchester United nafaa niende kwa Man City niwaambie nyinyi ni mababa na tushakubali. But I was say msiwapige more than bao mbili. Mkiwapiga more than bao mbili, I'm losing money. Sababu bet line iko at two goals. Wana need to concede two or less. So hiyo hivyo ndio bet line inacheza. So for basketball, sika football at huko wanafunga naga 1 2. Basketball wana mnaweza pigana hata 110 points, 118. So bet line waga inachezea kitu kama 12 na hapa juu 12. So favorites ni kina nani? Arizona State University. Sababu headache anacheza hapo na ni deadly kuruka. Wanacheza na nani hapa chini? Wanacheza na UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles. So since our Arizona ni wa deadly wanaweza piga watu mbaya sana betline itachezea kitu kama 12 so whatever happens hawa wa deadly hawafai kupiga hawa wa chini na more than 12 points by the way ukienda ubeti Arizona State alafu wapige hawa say more than 12 points you've lost your money sababu betline inachezea 12 now Here is where the confusion starts coming in. Arizona University ndio hiyo imepatiwa betline yake iko at 12. Hapa chini eh, our 12 pia. So umeenda umebet umesema our underdogs watapigwa na not more than 12. Lakini mumekuja wa said 100 nyinyi wote mumeweka the same bet. Nyinyi wote mnasema hawa watu hawatapigwa na more than The more people bet on ikitu the more hiyo line inaendaga iki close inaenda gaiki close iki close so mkijipata watu 10000 mumebetia hii team ile bet line inaweza toka 12 points ikuje to as little as 3 points meaning our maotero wakipiga our underdogs na more than 3 points you've lost your money so the more people bet the bet line inaenda iki, iki close to ina make kitu ikwe even more difficult Ju at the end of the day lazima watu wa betting watengeneze pesa. Hawezi fanya ikuwe rahisi hivyo for kila mtu. No, 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 never happens. So, hivyo ndio waga kunaenda. So for you to make money, una need to get mse mwenye ako in control of the game. In this case, Steven Smith headache. Muite kando mwambie gadhe betline iko at 6. So whatever happens musipige hiyo team na jo nyinyi nyinyi hakuna mtu amekata nyinyi ni wa deadly but msiwapige more than 6 points mkiwapiga more than 6 points i lose money waenda cheza kiwewe so meeting yao wawili ilikuwa hivyo ilikuwa tu ni huu bookkeeper kwambie huyu jamani aje mimi sisemi you lose if you lose well and good more money for me lakini we ukipiga huyu jamaa akikisha tafadhali kwa isani yako usimpige na more than 6 points please kwa watu wa basketball 6 points ni scores tatu ama 3 pointers mbili 3 pointers ni ile ukishoot nje ya D huko ukipiga 3 pointers mbili hizo ni 6 points maintain your match hapo iishe hivyo tafadhali usijaribu kukubali kufunga watu nyingi sababu mkiwapiga more than 6 i lose money Good. Wakurgenzi ni koshua mpaka hapo tuko sawa. Tumeelewa vile betline ina work. Twende kazi. So Steven Smith headek. Na huyu bookkeeper mazao amesha agree. Mechi ya kwanza 6 points. Mnataka nipige hawa watu na point sita eh sawa. Twende kazi. Steven Smith anaingia kwa court wadao. Ni kuweka tu. Weka wewe. We. Two pointer, three pointer. Two pointer, three pointer. Three pointer, three pointer. Three pointer. Eh bookkeeper anashindwa. We. Nilikuwa naongea Gujarati na huyu jamaa ama ni nini? Si tume agree vizuri. Hakuna kupiga more than 6 points. Huyu jamaa amefunga hawa 239 baskets yeye peke yake. Kuna hapana bana. We jo. Huyu anaribu kazi. Nilidhani huyu ni mtu wako na akili bana. Mliniambia huyu ni mtu anaweza job jo. Ni nini yeye anafanya sasa? Kumbe Steven Hedek ni mtu anatumia akili. 
We ni mtu mdeadly. All of a sudden unaingia court, unaanza kumeka mapasa za ufala, juu hautaki kushinda hawa watu na more than six. si tutakugundua. Tutajua kuna kitu unafanya. Lakini headache aliingia akahakikisha the first half ya hiyo mechi ni kuweka weka weka weka. Ndio hata akianza kukua mslopi nini anapatia na mavitu hakuna, already ashaambia wase mimi niko hapa ku win game. So hata shukiwa. Wadau, it worked. Believe it or not, the third and the fourth quarter ya hiyo mechi ilikuwa tu ni ya bad pass hapa, oh foul pale, oh ametolewa nje dakika mbili, oh amerudishwa. Hiyo mechi iliisha na gap ya 6 points. Ali control aka make sure imeisha na exactly a 6 point difference. Kitu siku nimewaambia wakurugenzi ni kwamba huyu bookkeeper mwenye anapiga hii kazi na Steven alienda akaekelea em eh, half a million dollars 500,000 dollars kwa image inafaishe na difference ya 6 points ASU Arizona State University wasijaribu kushinda na more than 6 points tafadhali Steven Smith aka deliver 500,000 yake ikakuja ikakuwa a little over 1 million so ali kama ka make 1.1 m but pale kwa ile conversation yao Steven Hedek alikuwa anataka tu pesa at least ya upkeep na maintenance at least aanze kukaa kama mtu eh ana match status yake jo ni celeb na ana pesa so agreement ilikuwa kwa kila mechi unanijenga na kulipa 20000 dollars sio kwa pesa ya saini milioni mbili na kwa kila mechi Steven akamwambia kama unanijenga 20000 dollars kwa kila mechi then we only doing it for two matches after the second one me am out I think 4 million shillings for a student ni pesa enough it's more than enough yo nitakula madondo mpaka nimalize shule maze iko tu sawa hiyo pesa mimi staki pesa nyingine after hapo na huyo jamaa kona by the way ni boy moja mo ai mwadilifu sana so tupige tu game mbili tupige tu game mbili me i'll give you the points unataka nipatie tu pesa yangu 20000 times 2 ni 40000 dollars hiyo ni mita ine. please after hapo adios muchachos peace So match number one, the boy has delivered. The following weekend, match ya pili na kam. Alangojea simu ya nani? Ule eh, Bookman. Amwambie betline leo inachezea wapi? Akamkola akamwambia, "Gadhe, mambo ni kama vile tuliongea last week, eh? last weekend. Betline inachezea sita. Sitaki kujua ni nini mnafanya kwa hiyo court. Piga sama soul tukitaka hang na hiyo rim ivae kwa kichwa. But whatever you do, tafadhali usishinde hiyo timu nyingine na more than 6 points tafadhali bas steven ashapatiwa points zile anafaa acheze kiyeye ameambiwa 6 points aina mambo ingia court mtindo ni ule ule ambia watu bana we ndio mwenyewe pale uwa uwa alafu mahali hapo katikati anza kulegea but juu ushaua watu wanaona we we uko kazi mbaya hawajui kumbe we ndio una control pale Believe it or not wakati referee anapiga ah oh, hiyo inaga kipenga ni ile baza 6 points game number 2 kijana ameingia court ashapigwa point zake ameambiwa sita si, si pite hapo tafadhali of course strategy ni ile ile kwanza ni kuvuruga watu proper vuruga waje wenyewe ni mtu uko kazi alafu hapo katikati sasa anza kulegeza legeza control game alafu yeye ni point guard so yeye ndio anadictate tunaenda na pace gani wale wanakuja tu wakikatch up wakikatch up wakikatch up wakikatch up towards the end of the game amepiga hesabu yake fiti amepiga basket ya mwisho pale ha meland at 6 points pop baza imelia ame deliver 20000 dollars ya kwanza 20000 dollars ya pili imeingia kijana ametengeneza 40000 dollars yake baridi amefunga kazi saa sawa na ameenda zake nyumbani but before hiyo game ishe kwa hii half ya pili hmm? the second half of the game watu walianza ku notice ai no kuna consistency fulani smith alikuwa nayo mm kuna kitu ina happen. Of course kama me notice all of a sudden huko kijana ameanza kupiga ma bling bling kuna viatu mpya gari amebadilisha rims 
I'm just notice you. I'm just notice. Maybe I'm mm. overthink. I, I might be overthink. Okay. But na jo vile Smith you cheza. Ah ah. No, there's something about the last two matches. No, ndio ana cheza fiti kabisa. But towards the end there's something that's happening with so unlike him. But I dhuru wacha ni si kai ni mimi ndio mtiaji. No no, wacha tuendelee tuna maisha. Iko sawa. The boy is talented. Ako sawa. Kuna mtu atana pinga hiyo. Yeah. And the guy goes quiet. Ule bookkeeper amefurahi. Unakumbuka alianza na 500,000 dollars, ikamletea 1.1. Kwa hiyo game ya pili alienda akaweka hiyo 1.1 yote. Imemrudishia 2.5 million dollars. Like ule boy ako biz mbaya. Ashamalizana na headache. Mambo iko sawa. Mtu yangu hata season haifiki katikati. Anapata simu. Nashika simu anashindwa la rada nani huyu? Nani yako on the other side of the line? Headache. Kumbe vijana walienda maze, wakanunua marims, wakanunua masporti, wakanunua ma bling bling expensive pesa ikaisha. Kumbe milioni 4 si si pesa nyingi mbele ya wasichana na bling bling. <laughs> Kuisha. It's finished. So Smith alikuwa anacheza na boy fulani, boy wake anaitwa Isaac, kwa sababu alikuwa anamuita Ice. So wote wawili wamesota. <laughs> I think walita na meeting wakaambia na ejo hii kitu tumekuwa tukidu. Atuzi siturudi hata la pingine moja. Moja, kwa ni moja ni blanda. Now we are the wiser. Turudi tu moja. But kuna goli. Tushamaliza pesa, hatuna pesa ya kuwekelea. Unajua ndio bet wewe lazima uwekelee. Unataka kuwekelea 20,000 dollars, lazima ukue na hiyo 20,000 dollars uwekelee. Akaambia hapana, si tunaongea tu na bookkeeper, anatuwekea na pesa yake na tuki lose ah sa tuki lose si tutam o game so the other, the next game after hii tunamfanyia for free hatutachukua 20000 zetu eh tuki lose tunam ah, akona okay ah sa why not call yo jamaa so smith aka call yo jamaa akamwambia ni aje kuna hii game yetu next jo mimi nataka kuwekelea eh ni setie hapo 20000 dollars maze tukishinda nikurudishie doa yako na kitu kidogo juu alafu mimi unipatie hiyo excess eh mazee tuko mbaya eh eh sawa usposhinda bra unajua vile kunaenda oh yeah yeah tusposhinda i know the next game na ku na kuwa mtu wako for free usinilipe sawa okay done deal weka leo hmm. we 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 ni noma ni noma Wacha game ikuwe ngumu. Game ilikuwa ngumu. <laughs> Walikuwa wameambiwa hii hata kuendeaje. Msijaribu. Msijaribu kupiga watu na point uh, I think sita. Msijaribu. We 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 our teammates. Unajua hii memo hawana. They don't know akina nani kuna kitu wanacheza hapa hao wako pale kuaribu mazi teammates what hede kakishika bola kai ni kama analegea legea wanamnyang'anya leta hii kitu wewe weka weka mazee wanaweka kuweka wanaweka kuweka jamaa akangangana 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 wapi na zero hakuna vijana wako kazi mbaya wako kazi deadly so ikakuwa eh hapa lazima tutafute namna eh i, i, i lazima nirudishe control lazima lazima uzito wangu isikie so ikakuwa sana ni ile kumezeshea sasa ni ile eh hey, we jo mnaharibu bana na hapa pesa yangu iko jo so waka come ana control game ana control game ana control ana control wale wase wana kama wana catch up wana catch up wana catch up ana control tu ana control wana catch up wana catch up ikafika mpaka ile place sasa ako mali wanataka ku, kukua lakini sasa dakika ni karibu za lala salama wale watu juu iko catch up catch up wamepata nguvu mpya sasa wanazidi ni kuzidi kuzidi buda wakakama wako overtake mpaka hawa se ni kuenda sana ni kuenda wewe anashindwa guy okay nilikuwa nashikilia hiki tu haifai kwa sana sasa imeenda sana inabidi sasa nirudi nirudi kazi niweke uzito juu 
pia ni noma sana tukiluzi kitu jo hii ilikuwa akufai kukuwa na loss ilikuwa na fun. lazima washinde na washinde na certain number of points hakuna story ya loss we so ah no no kulikuwa na story ya loss lakini waki lose hawafai ku lose na more than 3 points eh hey, you can lose but don't lose by more than 3 points tafadhali hakikisha you keep it under 3 mki lose hao watu wamekama wame overtake wamepita wameenda wa, sasa ni kuzidi sana wa wa wa, wa, wa hede kakarudi sasa ni kujaribu kukomboa kujaribu kukomboa sasa hii mzee ako na uoga ako na ako mbaya sababu pesa yake iko at stake ini pesa yake sasa inacheza hapa mzee wa wa, wa akajaribu akajaribu dakika la lala salama wakati imebaki seconds mechi ishe believe it or not walikuwa 6 points down our five could lose more than 3 wako 6 points down headache anaangalia clock anaona mzee imebakisha seconds anatafuta hii ball bana yo nipatieni hii ball nipige three pointer jo ni funike ni baki kwa ile three points nilikuwa nimeambiwa jo akaenda kanyanganya jamaa ball aka dribble aka dribble aka dribble na pele anaelekea like, pale sasa kwa edge ya d ni hapo kwa edge jo shika wekelea kitu mzee yani inaenda tu in slow motion hivi jua na jua hii three pointer mzee ndio difference yangu na poverty like hiyo kitu inafatu yende iingie walaya ya juu niko kwa ngori mbaya huko seconds zina tick to 5 4 3 by the time na gonga the third imebakisha 3 seconds ishe ball ishafika pale kwa hoop imeenda imegonga hoop hapa mbele imeenda imegonga board imerudi imegonga hoop tena ai kuingia ika Maze the disappointment in his face alishindwa ku make your three pointer so hakuweza ku close your gap so sasa wamepigwa na more than three points wamepigwa na six points pesa yake imeogelea akombaya but kuna ngori ngori iko wapi as ujama anangangana kuchukua hiyo ball and i make your three pointer maze ndio at least aingie pale kwa ile bracket ya zile points tatu everyone else around him ali notice Arizona State is doing everything it can to throw this game away wakaanza kujiuliza kwa nini huyu jamaa ko na ibd hivi like ata ange make your three pointer bado atungeshinda kwa nini ni very important for him to make your three pointer ju ilionekana like ilionekana live Those three points were life and death for him. Was kila mtu kwa kota aliona. And for the first time. Wase wakaanza ku suspect. Oh my god. There's a likelihood ukijana anafanya kitu ni itwa point shaving. Eh, hey, umse amekuwa ki dictate game. Ni vile tu atutaki kufikiria hivyo. Like atutaki ku imagine umse ako on the run up kukuwa one of the few people from Arizona State University kukuwa drafted kwa NBA ati anaweza kubali kuchoma juu ya betting like what 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 wasa kwa kuamini kitu kayo inaweza happen so for a second time wakampatia benefit of doubt for a second time but the guy had lost pesa ikaenda hivyo ahadi ni deni ilisemekana kama hauta shinda pesa yako ipote you owe me as a bookkeeper another game seven akamwambia ni aje niliku promise ni sposhinda na na ku game choose we pick a game niambie betline iko wapi mimi ni deliver tu malizane jo nili ilikataa mzee haikuwa siku yangu jamaa akamwambia na mambo happens to the best of us next game tunapiga game number 4 betline iko at 7 points whatever you do we shine vile unataka ku shine but usishinde awase na more than 7 points comprende comprende tuko sawa twende kazi game number 4 ika come kijana aka control deadly believe it or not wakamaliza na under 7 under 7 na jamaa kashinda kumbuka the last game huu jamaa aliwekelea pesa game number 2 alikuwa na ampiga winnings za 5m alikuwa 5m 2.5 2.5 So for the game number 4 alienda akaekelea hiyo 2.5 yote ikaleta nini 5m pesa taslim round hii hanid kulipa headache na boy wake sababu gani hii ni deni so ni 5 million clean ikakuwa ni hivyo 
Po ya done, personally I'm done. Eh, hii timu inaanza kukua too much, naanza ku suspect nikawa sawa na ku suspect bro. So acha tufungie kazi hapa. Pole maze game yako ya mwisho ikwenda fit sana lakini ni life jo. Imekuwa true. Adios muchachos. For real for real. Adios muchachos. Peace. Whew. Na jamaa kaondokea. Hmm. Shetani ni nani? Hapo kwa hiyo mtatu yao kuna drug lord ako hapo amekuwa kicheki anaangalia anaona okay kuna kitu ina happen na ama drug lords wana kwa gama gangster mbaya mali watu wanaingiza pesa ya rais they want in lazima wakule lazima wakule kwa sahani yako hiyo <laughs> line iko click click bang watch in your movie your movie the fire your movie the kali so drug lord mzee akapiga simu kwa hiyo bookkeeper akamwambia gave Nimekuwa nikipiga research yangu na nikapata kitu imenifurahisha mbaya sana. Kumbe unacheza na Steven Smith, headache. Unafikiria si Jim unapiga point shaving na yeye? Ana control game huko mbaya. Umekuwa ukikula eh? Ah, nasikia umevuna mbaya. Cheki. Nadai. Nasikupatia option. Either ucheze na mimi ama naenda kwake direct. Eh, so chaguo ni lako. Mimi nimekuwa tu na courtesy nikakaa nikakushow juna jua wende controller hapo cheza na mimi damn it huyo jamaa kajiita meeting akajiambia huyo drug drug dealer akienda kwa Steven direct afu kitu i happen to wataniweka kwa ngori hata mimi so wacha tu niende but i swear i promise in the game ya mwisho nafanya na wase after all nimepiga winnings za 5m nikiwekele hii 5m ni yes ni 10m mti yangu nimetakinde what is better than 10m <laughs> let's do it nakasema let's do it now kuna a very crucial information siku wapatia nikianza betting ni very strict wanaangaliaga sana vile unaekelea doa yako ukianza kuwekelea anything above 10000 dollars tunaanza kukuuliza maswali wewe una risk 10000 dollars si pesa umetoa wapi sasa hizo ni maswali hao watu wa betting hawatakangi So what do they do? Wana dividing nini zao into less than 10k. So wanahakikisha wameka 9900 dollars kwa kila bet. So if you are betting half a million, unachukua hiyo half a million, una divide into stacks of 9999999999 baka zifike half a million. Then mnagawana hiyo pesa watu kama 15. Kila mtu anaenda casino yake, anawekelea kila mtu anaenda muna, muna, yani mnajigawanya Las Vegas yote mnatesa mbaya na hiyo ni half a million hebu imagine kuweka 5 million dollars mnajigawanya aje so hiyo kujigawanya mara more bivo of course lazima kuna wasetu wataanza kuona eh hey, hey, hapana mc moja <laughs> hey hey you tricky man so hii game ya mwisho yenye drug king pin amekaa makasema i want to be a part of ili kama kakuwa na hiyo ngori number one ubu kipa amekuja ameweka 5 million dollars ndani of course i may divide into 9900 dollars but it's crazy it's ridiculous like uka, ukaenda tu upige tu research na utaona utaona okay umse amekelea hii bet hapa lakini ina show pia amekelea 26 other places no mtu lazima ongeleshwe so hiyo ilikuwa ngori number one. ngori number two. somehow sijui aje ili spread kwa the student community at Arizona State University that headache e game pia anaipeana na wakajua design yake ni waga anapeana game lakini hashindwi so cheza na minimum points so wakakamu wakasema tunataka kuwekelea hapa hii ndio game tunataka na kila mtu anakuja ameva hiyo t-shirt ya Arizona State University so of course watu wa casino wanaanza kushindwa what is it about e game ya Arizona State University kila mtu anakuja na mapesa mpaka watoto wa shule wameenda wamechanga wanakuja na 100,000 dollars wanataka kuwekelea kwa game unaona hii betline waga ina move ina move kila time wase waki wakifanya vitu the most hiyo kitu hiyo move ni ka 10 times ita move maybe iende i- i- pande juu hadi 6 irudi 7 kidogo 8 ipande juu tena hadi 6 iko ame hapo ime move 10 times for this particular game Arizona State na sikumbuki hiyo timu ngine gani hiyo betline ili move 44 times na kitu kama hiyo iki happen of course kuna ngori so nani anajulishwa wa kwanza you guessed right federal bureau of investigation 
FBI wakaitwa. He, hii betline ina move sana man. Kuna kitu ina happen. Watu wa Arizona State University wamekuja hapa na pesa nyingi sana wote wanawekelea tu kwa hii game. Lazima kuna kitu ina happen. So FBI wakaanza nini? Wakaanza investigation yao. Haya, toka hapo, enda kwa court. It's show time. It's game time. Wasomi ingia pale, jamaa na control Betline imecheza ikacheza sasa hii imepanda iko 3 ameambiwa liwe liwalo headache you shine the way you want lakini msipige hii team na more than 3 points tafadhali 3 points the one basket ya 3 pointer ama 2 pointer na sijui hiyo point moja kuna kwanga na 1 point kwa basketball kweli wewe jua vile utakacheza mtu yangu isipite point tatu tafadhali wakaanza kucheza wanacheza sasa hivi mazeni point tatu so headache akonganga deadly jaw ana ana uza uza ufala nini juu point ni tatu bana hiyo ni it's close wakaenda half time wakaenda ile break ya kwanza wakaingia pale maze coach akakaa amebonda deadly akawakalisha chini akawaambia maze kabla turudi tena eh, second quarter nataka tu niambie ukweli kuna msa amelipwa apige point shaving sababu as we speak e game this particular game is under investigation by the federal bureau of investigation so niambieni tu mapema kama kuna mmoja wenyu kwa hii team amelipwa kupena games of course wakadai ah hapana aje hapana ah, twezi kitu kama hiyo sisi ah tricky sana hiyo ah no not us sisi ah tuko hapa kushinda sisi ah sisi tuko hapa kushinda uh, boss si ngoje uone vile tutafanya watu tutaandika mbaya. Okay, nirudi ni endeni mcheze. Lakini mjue kaka kuna mmoja wenyu anatupeana. Atajificha for long. Ingie ni mcheze. We, 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 we. Headache. Amerudi court. Wakaangaliana na huo boy mwenzake anaitwa Ice, Isaac Suno. Wanafanya gai kitu pamoja. Akamwambia mazeni ngori jo. Wacha watu wetu wapoteze pesa. Hatuwezi ingia kwa ngori ya ya match fixing. Hapana. Wecheza like your life depends on it. Uwa, ah watu piga uwa. Twende. Mambo ya do tutadeal nayo baadaye. Katambe. Wacheni niwaambie Arizona State University walivuruga watu deadly. Walivuruga proper. Ule mwenye alikuwa amekelea pesa yake, si amekelea 5 million shillings akijua ni mita kiende inakaa. Alienda akaanza ku watch mechi, akawachio first quarter. Akaona vile kina headache wana control, akajua mambo yake iko sawa. Akasinzia. Kusinzia kidogo aliamka after 4 hours. <laughs> Alienda pale chini kwa Baesa kuangalia scores zinaweza kuwa zilishia wapi alishtuka. Alipigwa na bumbuazi. <laughs> Wale watu walinyeshea hiyo team kuruka. So ndio eventually akakaa mku discover hey, 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 kumbe ni ngori ilikuwa ime happen. So akina headache walikuwa na try kufanya nini? Kusafisha. My friend ilikuwa ngori. Hiyo mechi ilisha hivi ama jamaa wakapoteza pesa ikaenda hivyo headache akawachorea na kukanyamazwa hata wiki tatu wazikuisha masimu zikaanza bookkeeper akapigiwa oh yani aje gabe kuna ile game flani ilisha wiki chacha zimepita naona uliyekelea pesa nyingi sana pesa nyingi sana na huko unataka ku declare mbona kwa nini ulikuwa shua sana na hiyo nini mnalipa mtu haina mambo hautaki kuongea tutajua tu piga investigation angalia bank accounts nini pata the same same guy has been sending some 20 Gs to one Stephen Smith aka headache sasa jitoe jitoe <laughs> FBI walikuja wakawakota tu wote hivyo wote hivyo headache smith ameonekana gapia yu kanja boy fulani anaitwa Isaac Barton aka Ice come come hizo come 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 headache si pia amekuwa kikukanja unajua yeye anakanjwa pia na huyu kuje ni nyinyi wote hivyo Isaac two years now on the Steven Hedek one year one day again wewe eh umu jamaa 18 months enda nani wewe mmefanya college sports imeharibiwa jina sababu ya grid yenu mkwenda ndani kabisa wote hiyo hiyo time right before arrest you na FBI drafting ya NBA ndio hiyo Hedek Smith sababu tayari alikuwa kwa FBI radar akakansoliwa hakuwa drafted imagine dream yake yote ya ku for nba na ilikuwa ishaiva iliharibiwa na game ngapi tano 
Na kwa hizo game tano alikula game nne pekee sababu moja ilichomeka. Actually mbili zilichomeka. Hii yenye alichoma na hii yenye lazima angelipana deni. So alikula tu game tatu. 60,000 dollars ilimuondoa kwa millions. Millions. Sababu ya kutafuta pesa ya haraka. Imekuwa long story but I hope wakusikia. Wamesikia. Kunaga pesa ya haraka mti yangu? Hakuna. Lazima uifanyie kazi. Kitu watu wa ni first of all you need to work extra hard for you to start working smart. Hawa <laughs> se wana work smart, wanafanya vitu zinakama. Nijua at some point wali work hard. Usiwai danganywa working hard ni mandatory. Tuliletwa kwa hii dunia kupiga kazi. Ya. Usidanganywe. Lazima upige kazi man. Sasa wadao. Bas, tufunge siku hapo. Imekuwa true sana. Kama imekubamba, kuja na mbogi. Ikikubamba zaidi, cheza kiwewe. Au sio? Na watambua sana. God wa bless. Musipende vitu za haraka ra, ra, za raisi zitawa waste. Sasa Adios muchachos. Peace. Chani pite na kanywa yikangu hapa. Mm. Ibondo nilikuwa na wakunywa 2003. Young